Hey yo, what is happening guys? This is Elite coming at you with another video. So today I actually have some great news and information regarding Kingdom Hearts and actually the future itself. This is actually an interview with Tetsuya Nomura himself. So without further ado, let's just dive straight into it. Kingdom Hearts Perfect Book interview with actress Haru Minami and Tetsuya Nomura reveal more about the future for Kingdom Hearts. The Kingdom Hearts Perfect Book that was released on the 28th of December featured an interview with Kingdom Hearts director Tetsuya Nomura. We are currently translating the book and we will report once we have translated it. An, except, an excerpt of the interview has been translated already and Nomura stands on the story Re, and you can read it below and of course by at I Taiki Mochi, uh, thank you very much for translating this and I'm sorry if I butchered the name. So yes, you guys can go check this out. This is on KH13. I'll leave a link to it down below. But without further ado, let's read it. So, uh, Wataru uh, then that uh, refers to something in the future of Kingdom Hearts 3 or are you referring to something else? Nomura as referred to in our previous conversation, I can't pinpoint only one story as I have a multitude of potential things lined up. If there's a future, I, there is also a past, that's kind of the concept I tend to think about at the moment. The smartphone app Kingdom Hearts Union Cross contains a story that happened in the past and within the timeline that follows after that. I am able to think, oh, so I guess I should expand upon this part now and decide on on what exactly to flesh out. Wataru actually also asked, will there be more to the story that will follow with the new Kingdom Hearts 3 game? Mora, we've received comments such as, oh, come on, just finished the story already. Haha, <laughs> however, if you play Kingdom Hearts 3, I'm sure there will, there will be people saying, hurry up, give us the continuation now. And that's the type of story I think we have created with this game. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your time, Nomura Sana. That was just a little bit. And Nomura basically is saying, you know, he wants to continue the series. He's not going to listen to people saying, just end the series. And that's what I love about Tetsuya Nomura. Then it continues uh, with a special interview. Uh, um, this is just a special interview. And this is what it actually says. A special interview. It was a present from my mother. Uh, with us in is Haru, an actress who has been in many dramas and films. Though she is not a core gamer, when it comes to Kingdom Hearts, she has been a big fan of the series ever since she was a child. She has wanted the chance to talk about Kingdom Hearts. And now Haru is being interviewed as well as the director of Kingdom Hearts, Tetsuya Nomura. It seems like Mickey is in this um, so the question could you tell us uh, how you got into the Kingdom Hearts series this is of course for Haru uh, Haru said I first played the series when I was around three or four in elementary school I had an older sister who we didn't play much games with games with together my close friends played games and it was a well-known title that I couldn't choose but during the time as a student, it was also my birthday, and I was also given a PS2, and it was set up, and it was set up for me. My mom then gave me the game as a present. My mom wasn't particularly into games and didn't know much about it, but she probably cho chose it because it had a Disney character in it, and that is very similar to my story. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, guys. We all know uh, Kingdom Hearts was my first ever game, and. Uh, this is very similar to that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, I also did get a PS PS2 um, early on, but not on my birthday per se. It was I guess around Christmas. I'm not too sure. It's kind of vague. But let's continue on. Then the next question was, did you play the game with the older sister? Haru said it was mostly a game I played by myself. What kind of game uh, is this, and how did the situ? did the situation become like this apparently it seems like mickey is in this uh, are the first impressions i remember having while playing the game when i couldn't play the game it was difficult and i became really impatient 
At that time, I became the kid who would think, I need to hurry and return home so I can play that game. <laughs> yeah, she did laugh. But um, it continues on. What was it that got you so interested that you would have the thought, I want to hurry home to play the game? Haru said, it really was the story. The more I played, the better I got. And it was fun progressing further. And that allowed me to be taken in with the feelings the story presented and get invested it also felt like the next area i entered would be where i would beat it but that wasn't it after the story there were more challenges and fun to face and i kept playing if i collected enough items to create the ultima weapon the strongest keyblade and i thought the sec and i fought the secret boss sephiroth the heartless in the other worlds became stronger but Sora and his friends also grew stronger and by the time I entered the end of the world it was easy to defeat the invinci invincible and I kept playing. It was interesting becoming more powerful in this way. Very very true stuff. Now let's continue on. Um, they also asked you told a little about the Keyblade but which Keyblade did you appreciate the most? Haru said it had a good reach. Uh, which is why I was interested in the Ultima Blade, but the one that I used to prefer most was Pumpkin King. Oh god, <laughs> Stason. <laughs> it was very nostalgic. As a kid, I had to the thick Ultimania uh, strategy guide, and it had a lot of pictures and various content, so I would read it often. At that time, I had no idea that the process of making a game so I was looking into it for perspectives and I would think so from this picture this is how it came in the game it ended up being very fun to read then another question um, has a Kingdom Hearts has a lot of characters but could you please tell us which one stands out the most for you how to say that is a tough question I like Sora and definitely like Roxas Sora's deep relationship with Riku and Kairi is something I've come to like, but what stood to me was actually 358 over 2 days with Roxas, Axel and Shion, all three which I love. When the game was first released and I heard that Sora wouldn't be in it much, I was like what? But after I tried it, it was really interesting. The hardware on the Nintendo DS despite the gap in graphics compared to the PS2, I thought the story was really engaging and overall was done very well. Speaking uh, of the 5 over 2 days, for you, is the most memorable scene the one where they are all together? Haru said yes, that's right, the scene where they are eating ice cream, Shion is very tragic uh, and I really like the scene when she comes out. In the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 2, Roxas says it looks like my summer vacation is over, was well, a strong scene as well which made the beginning emotional for me despite being a long tutorial yes that was a long tutorial um then uh, the question was for some fans uh, they would say axel is the hero of this work haru said that's true haha he is always getting the worst jobs and even though he does his best he's not rewarded and keeps pushing forward anyway maybe kairi will be placed in a position to be the heroine besides that a very strong enemy was the phantom boss that appeared in Kingdom Hearts 1 and I remember struggling against him. Another question, I'm sure you thought of what will come of Roxas, Shion and Axel after all this, but what do you want uh, to happen to them? Haru said, I want all three of them to be happy, but if they exist, then Sora would disappear I think, therefore I have mixed feelings about this outcome. Then the picture above of Axel, Roxas, Shion caption scene with Axel, Roxas and Shion eating ice cream. I was able to explore my favorite world, Hercules. The question I see as for the next question, which Disney world is your favorite? Uh, Haru said, I like a lot of worlds such as Aladdin, but I was extremely happy when my favorite world like Hercules and Mulan appeared in the game. Besides Mulan and Hercules, other Disney properties like uh, the princess films are one ones I like seeing and as kids many of my friend and as a kid many of my friends were happy to see them so it was really fun to play through my favorite worlds in the game uh, my personal favorite world is eh, possibly the 
Olympus as well, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm really looking forward to the Frozen World in Kingdom Hearts 3. But, um, right here. So you have a lot of Kingdom Hearts fans around you. Haru said, yes, there were Kingdom Hearts fans around me. My co-workers were fans of the series and others became fans later. Even other actors uh, from my dramas became involved and the number kept rising. Did you beat Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts 2? Is something we talked about a lot. <laughs> and then uh, Tessie Nomura said, I'm also thinking about the past Kingdom Hearts 3. The story past Kingdom Hearts 3. The question, today no, Mr. Nomura, the Kingdom Hearts series director, is here with us. Uh, we would like to ask you some questions about the development of Kingdom Hearts 3. But have you already watched the trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3? Um, Haru said, I did watch it. The last time I played a big screen on a big screen was Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, uh, which at the time still uses CRT TV. So the game being on the PS4 with graphics improved already makes me excited enough. There was many varieties of motions and animated cutscenes that excited from Kingdom Hearts 1 to Kingdom Hearts 2, so I'm really looking forward to Kingdom Hearts 3. Question, which scene caught your eye the most? Uh, this is for the trailers. Haru said, there are many scenes that, I, that I'm interested in, but the number one would be when I saw the Frozen will be in the game. I'm guessing the development for of Kingdom Hearts 3 has been decided a long time ago, but I'm wondering when they decided to include it. I even thought of the possibility that the include, inclusion of Frozen in the middle of the development made the development time longer. Ha ha ha. Very close to home, Haru. <laughs> but uh, question, Mr. Nomura, what are your thoughts upon this? Now, Nomura actually stated uh, how Frozen got into the world, so he said, Usually, when we think about making a game, we choose uh, from works already available in the public. However, for Frozen, we were selecting the worlds. Disney showed us the preview before it was finished, and we liked it enough to continue the decision to include it in the game. We decided on the inclusion before the movie was premiered, so we were lucky it, uh, that it was a huge success. And Haru said the series has been going on for more than ten years, but do you, but do you decide to make the story ahead of time like Kingdom Hearts: Birth by Sleep? Nomura said when I was working on one work, I'm already thinking about the next story. I'm currently making Kingdom Hearts 3, so I am kind of thinking about the story past it. So that's a little bit of a tease there, lads. Then the question, then that refers to something of the future of Kingdom Hearts 3. Or you referring to something uh, of the past? Nomura said, as referred from our previous conversation, I can't pinpoint one story as I have multitude potential things lined up. If there's a future, there is always the past. That kind of concept I tend to think about at the moment. The smartphone game Kingdom Hearts Union Cross contains the story that happened in the past and within the timeline that follows after that, I'm able to think, oh, I guess I should explain, expand upon this part now and decide on what to flesh out later. Now this is he's when he's talking about um, the uh, earlier statement that he made. And then the final bit of question was, will there be more to the story uh, th that will follow the new Kingdom Hearts 3 game. The mod said, we reach a comment such as, oh come on, just finished the game already, haha. <laughs> however, you play Kingdom Hearts, however, if you play Kingdom Hearts 3, I'm sure there will be people saying, hurry up and give us the continuation. And that's the type of story I think uh, we have created for this game. Then uh, the final thing was, Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Nomura. To close up, Ms. Haru, please give a message to fellow Kingdom Hearts fans uh, reading this. Haru said, The Kingdom Hearts series is a very long story and has complicated uh, character relationships. So I would also like to read the book to review and prepare when I play Kingdom Hearts 3. So yes, Haru and Tetsuya Nomura have a lot to say. And Tetsuya Nomura actually explained how Frozen got into this as well as, you know, how... Um, there m will be a continuation and he did confirm you know uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 is not the last game there is more 
to the story uh, but it is the end of the Dark Seeker saga so we will get new antagonist Sora is still a protagonist we just have to wait and see however guys let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think please share with friends go share with Karen uh, like this video please it helps me a lot and most importantly subscribe to become a fellow lightning bolt anyway guys that is it for this video and as always this is Lightning Chate blaze out